called it astronomist. Astronomy? Astronomy. Okay. So, what, um, how many planets do we have in our solar system? Eight. But this is actually how it works. There is more than eight planets. Like, Earth has its own planets. Earth has, like, Saturn has its own planets surrounding it. You mean moons? Yeah, moons, right. Yeah. Okay, this is how solar system works. If you get out of our solar solar system, it's not like you go into a whole new solar system right away after you get out of our solar system. But if you want to go out, okay, if you exit our solar system and if you just exit it, you are inside deep space. No solar system, just new planets that you have never seen before and deep space. If you went all the way down, like very far down, you would see like a whole nother galaxy, like a whole nother space. And then they were new solar systems. There, there is our solar system. There is new solar systems above it to go. And this is, this is our solar system. And pretend it's still here. And this is a spaceship. Go out of it. Deep space. You go down, a new solar system, a new one, a new one, a new one, until it, there is never-ending solar system. And it's what's in the solar systems? Planets. New planets. So, if, like, if it was in, like... What's the difference between a planet and a star? A star? Do you know that a sun is not a planet? A sun is a star. Yeah. It is. It is very big for a star, but... The sun is a star, yeah. Yeah, the sun is a star. And planets go around stars. Yeah. They orbit around them. And moons go around mm -hmm. planets. So you got a star, and then you got a planet that goes around a star, and moons go around the planets. And then what goes around the moons? Nothing. That's it. There's deep space goes yeah. around the moon. So what is atmosphere? An atmosphere is like, there is a... The atmosphere is the blue thing, like... <laughs> No, if you come very close to a star, those are not actually stars. That is the atmosphere. If you let go out of the atmosphere, it's space. So if you like the atmosphere, the top of the atmosphere is larger than Mount Everest. It's taller than Mount Everest. Mount Everest is very close to the top of the atmosphere. It's over the clouds. And then the clouds are like 5,000 feet up. Okay, here's the exact number of how it is, of, of how tall the cloud is. 500 and 825 feet up. That is the exact number. And what, why do we need an atmosphere? So we can breathe. So, like, so, so all the space does not come down. If there was no atmosphere, like Mars does have an atmosphere, it's, it's like in, Mars does have an atmosphere, but it doesn't mean that you can take off your space helmet. It's poisonous. So you can even though planets have atmospheres, Earth is the only one that is not po po poisonous and, and does have an atmosphere. Saturn doesn't. It just has a big ring. That, that ring is not an atmosphere. What is it? It is actually rock. It's made out of rock. So you can break it. Oh. You can break it. If you have an axe, you can break a planet. You 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 can break Saturn if you want. Really? If you want, you can actually break Saturn. And there will just be a whole new planet if you break the ring. If you if you put if you had a giant axe then you could just make all sorts of scripts on it. Then you can chop it, and then the the planet's gone. So like, so like if you if you slice the ring, it's over. The the planet is destroyed. Actually, the the ring surrounds it. It's like a shield. It's like a shield. You wanna know? The atmosphere is kind of like a shield too, right? Yeah. The atmosphere is kind of like a shield from space getting through it. So, like, the atmosphere 
is the strongest thing, but you can, space is air, and air can actually go through glass, and you can just, and you can put your hand, just your pinky, your nail, right through the atmosphere, and then your fingers in space. If you take a rocket ship, you have to put it in autopilot, and then you stop it. It doesn't go flying down. It stays there. And then if you're going to get it out, you'll have to wear a rope on you so you don't fall. And then... You're talking about when it's in orbit. Yeah. So then if air, air can go through anything. 